So, I'm gonna be doing a video on how to time a Polaris or pretty much any kind of sled, really. Um, any kind of engine, honestly, uh, as long as you know where your timing marks are and stuff and you have a dial indicator or a degree wheel and a timing light, um, you should be able to get get to where it needs to be. Um, there's a spec in the book. Mine is 25 degrees before top dead center is where your timing is supposed to be. Um, I had my stator off last week fucking with the lighting coil because I blew the lighting coil and I put it back together and she runs like shit. But I'm ruling out that the timing is wrong now. Um, I think I got a bad throttle position sensor. But you need a dial indicator. I'm not going to show you how to set it up because this is a miracle that I got this to be steady. Um, but you want to put it down in your whichever uh, the number one piston is, which is aligned with your timing mark down here. You can't see it right now because it's not in the right spot. So you want to get on your clutch over here. Spin your engine. I'm past top dead center right now. So see the top of that dial indicator, how it's going back down. So your piston's going back down. So we're gonna come up until it stops coming up. And that'll be top dead center. Should be one more. And then you'll set your gauge at zero wherever it stops moving. That's top dead center. See how it stops and then starts going back down? So that's the very top of your piston stroke. So, we want 25 degrees before top dead center for the timing on this thing. Um, like I said, there's a spec in your book. Uh, this is 125 thousandths for 25 degrees. So, 100 thousandths is one full revolution of the wheel. So, we'll come back, turning your engine backwards now, back before top dead center. So, there's one rev, and we'll come back to 75. Let's see. Get it right there on the money. It's kind of tough because that's it doesn't want to stay right there because there's compression in your engine. Okay, so there's 75. So this is 125 thousandths before top dead center, 25 degrees. So then if you look down here in your timing hole, get it to focus, you'll see your timing mark. So this is pretty much to verify which timing mark you're trying to line up with. And mine is the long one. And there's this other line here that I kind of thought it could be, but that's the line. So then with your engine running, take all the shit back out, obviously. Hook your spark plug back up. Fire up your sled. Take the timing light, and you'll hook the timing light onto the number one spark plug wire. It's just an inductive pickup. There just clip that on around your spark plug wire like that and you know put on your spark plug and then run your sled uh, mine's 3000 rpm you're supposed to check it out and then you point that light it's fucking gone now you point your light at the hole right there and <clears throat> every time that spark plug fires which should be right at that line the light flashes so all you see is that line right there it doesn't look like it's moving <clears throat> because your your eye isn't fast enough to pick it up so that's how you set your timing and then if your timing is too far uh, advanced you know you'll be up here in this line uh, or too far retarded would be back here it's firing after it gets past top dead center so well not even top dead center but <clears throat> after where it's supposed to be so Hope this is helpful for somebody. Uh, yeah.